Yikes. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you would endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. Cross crowbar. Of course I can't leave. Crucified, all alone, in one place that's changed it all. I really don't want to be here. It's stuck in the cross. I suppose I could easily pull it out. Death? Susan, it's time to make a decision. The Damn. parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Okay. No. Tell me again about them. What does I'll do it my way even mean, though? Like, is there another way? What am I going to do? Chat with them? Plus, I don't think I really want to mess with this person. Lights up. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> We're back in the house. Yes, but there is something else that must be done. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I am speaking of. Uh. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood. It doesn't sound good at all. See those candles here? Just blow one out and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. Then on your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much, just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. Mm. It's easy, anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Uh. Tell me about the sacrifice of blood. Like I said, it's just a formality. On your way out, you will have to shed thing. a few drops of blood. Not much. Just a bit. Enough to open the This makes door. me quite nervous. How much? Exactly. Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Yes, yes, Is yes. Is that how you used to say it? Fine. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. When you leave my house, head to the field. That's where you should be. Goodbye, my child. I'm not going to be far. I've never been. Interesting that it could be any of these five candles. Let's do the middle one. Well, actually, wait. Strange. The flames seem strong and steady, but there is no smoke. Okay. I guess it's all the same. Also, by the way, just an ordinary crowbar. Okay. What was it doing there? Yeah. What was it doing on the cross? 
this one. Of course. I guess that's one of the parasites. So I chose a level just now. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Oof. See how easy that was? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. Did I just kill somebody by blowing out the candle? I did sacrifice a soul, didn't I? That makes me quite nervous. And there's also the sacrifice of blood. <laughs> there's no more touch option. Remember, this game does have a gore warning, so I'm, I'm a little nervous about the sacrifice of blood, even if it is only a little. We're out. What the? How did I get back here? Alright, still nothing to see here. That flaming wreckage, though. What an ambient game. I still never did do anything about that house in the woods, though. I wonder if I can. This music's fantastic. We actually have blue sky. I kind of miss that. Oh, no way. I wonder if this was ever an option then. Maybe by coincidence, I was just never able to enter the house anyway. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. The hole has been boarded up with these planks. Well, I have the crowbar, right? Emergency power switch. Danger. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Pulling will not work. I'm not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. Ech. I guess I have to stand in the right place. Reach inside. Oh god, that makes you so uncomfortable. Oh! Are you... There's my blood, I guess, but like, how do I... What do I do? Are you freaking kidding me? That's how you do the sacrifice of blood? Are you goddamn kidding me? Wow. That's incredible, though. Now I have to wonder if I should even try killing the parasites, because clearly Queen of Maggots is an asshole. <laughs> Wow, this is a cruel game. I figured chapter two would be coming up very soon.
Are there seven chapters then? It happens to count back from seven. What do I have? Five parasites and then the final chapter? In any case, second first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human mind and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Oh boy. She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? I can ignore this. Also, I'm waiting for when I can walk around because I want to see if there's a good saving point. But let's go with Susan Ashworth. It's Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've well, checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? I didn't press anything. Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, I, I didn't press anything for any of that when he was like, what did you say? Or would you like me to get you some water? Like, I, I didn't do anything. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. <laughs> uh... Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but... You know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. 
You've got the blood pressure of an 18-year-old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? I was a vampire the whole time? Bad dream. Like, I'm still waiting for a point where I can stop. Yeah, a really bad one. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woke anywhere. What was it about? I was burnt alive. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. What? There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on ten litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course, and as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames, and so did she. I was gonna say surrounded by oxygen, that's instant death. You didn't really want to know that, did you? No, that's I didn't. just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. Well, I know what her name was, but what happened what to me? What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... <laughs> yeah, do I tell her about the freaking field? Maybe I'll just do this. I woke up here, and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me, and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I don't have yes. a daughter, do I? Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. How long have I been here? How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit, where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward, because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Jeez. Thanks for that burst of sunshine. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Uh, I'm hoping you're not the parasite, but it sounds like we're setting up for Dr. X. 
Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you, but Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care, as long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left, and I never saw her again. Now why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. I'll bet something shut her up. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells... funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just... open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Maybe. Hmm. Huh. Interesting that I can reselect Dr. X, but not the daughter. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. I just straight up. Watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said.
dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up, right? Whoa. Okay, we're back. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Well, apparently I actually can just chill and wait to talk to him. This, this opening was a lot. But for now, it's time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We completed Chapter 1, and it seems that we're moving right along in Chapter 2 of this game. We probably should have died, but a mysterious person... person, question mark, saved us, and we have a mission from the Queen of the Maggots to fight and probably kill five people that are called Parasites. In the meantime, we are in a hospital where the nurse attending us said, Be careful, they're watching you. Oh boy, this game started off really dark, and I get the feeling it's not going to get much brighter. Until next time, everyone.